What's going on, Clements? <laughs> it is a pleasure to be in front of you all. We want to first thank uh, Wayne Winborn for allowing us to be here. Give it up for Yeah, boo. <laughs> you got a booing section. <laughs> oh, man. And also Gregory Burris for also allowing us to be here as well. Yes, Gregory Burris. And uh, thank you to the sound team, Peter and all them cats yeah. in the back. Appreciate y'all, man. Uh, start off talking about this band real quick. Uh, on bass, I don't know how and where we met. I, I just, I just, we just know each other. <laughs> we, we ended up playing a gig, and he called me for gigs. I called him for gigs. Neither one of us was available until fairly recently and today. <laughs> And now we're here, and uh, he's a band leader. He's one of the hasten sensations around here in New York City. He's rocking his place, man. He got his own albums. He has his own, his own leader. He's doing his own thing. Give it up for the one and only Mr. Jonathan Michelle. <laughs> On drums, we met at church. <laughs> Um, I was subbing for uh, Matthew Whitaker, pianist, organist, for his church. Yeah, he comes here often. He used to come here often. And um, we ended up chatting, chatting it up a little bit, and we know a whole lot of folks in the music, and it was just like, oh. <laughs> we just know everybody, and we playing at church right now. So we, I played at his church several times, and uh, it's, it's great to finally be able to play with him outside of church. That don't sound right, but that, that's it. <laughs> We love the Lord somewhere around here. <laughs> but all, he, always, but uh, he's a band leader of his own and he's, he plays with everybody around town, y'all. <laughs> Please give it up for the one and only Mr. Otis Brown the Third. Now, with this featured guest of ours, with this featured guest of ours, I'm going to preface the story with this. Uh, so when I first came to New York City, um, um, I, I got introduced to jazz organ through, well, officially baptized in the jazz organ by Dr. Lonnie Smith. I saw him playing at this one club, and I was like, man, I just got to play jazz organ now. So then I ended up uh, playing, uh, starting to play uh, jazz organ in Harlem a lot. And then I'm going to stop right there and go to this story. Of course, I grew up, well, it, you'll come back to it. Um, I, I, clearly I started, um, I was born from Memphis. I'm born in Memphis. And, uh, so clearly I grew up with, uh, around James Williams and Mulgrew Miller and, and, uh, Harold Mayburn. And they would always talk about great musicians all the time. And they would talk about the composers like Donald Brown and all that stuff. So I'm always following Mulgrew Miller everywhere he goes. And one time Mulgrew didn't show up to a gig. In his stead was our featured guest. So I'm sitting in the back of the club. He doesn't know this story my, from my perspective. <laughs> so I'm sitting in the back of the club. I was like, oh, Mogu picked the cat. You know, so I called Mogu. I said, Mogu, yo, you, you sent this, this, this guitar player, man. He was like, yeah, man, you better keep an eye on him. I was like, I will. So some time had come past, and then I see Dr. Lonnie Smith playing organ at the Rhythm. And I said, oh, I got to go to this. In his band was Herlin Riley yeah. and our featured guest. That's the picture <laughs> that I took of us. <laughs> and, um, and as I'm watching this show, man, I was like, who, I, I, why am I late to the party about who this guy is? I was so upset with myself. I was upset when I learned about Dr. Lenny Smith, and I was upset when I learned about him. And I was like, if I ever get a chance, I'm going to call this man in <laughs> and feature this man, no matter what, come, come hell or high water. This is our first time playing together. Please put your hands together for the one and only Mr. Russell Malone. So I don't know what songs uh, we played. I forgot. <laughs> Autumn Leaves, Who's Backtracking, September in the Rain, and Bolivia. 
And since we're talking about the man of the hour, which is, is my pleasure and my honor to be able to have him on this stage and play with us, um, uh, we're going to feature Mr. Man with his own polka dots.
That's Mr. Russell Malone, y'all. The trivia question isn't who has he played with. The, the trivia question is who hasn't he played with. But um, uh, I feel ashamed even holding this microphone right now because there's somebody that got all the stories in the world on this bandstand. No, he got more than a few. As a matter of fact, y'all want to hear Mr. Russell Malone speak real quick? That's a setup. Like the pastor always said, here you go, brother. Here you go. My man. It's good to be with you guys, man. I, I've never played with you before. This is the first time. Otis and I have jammed together casually in the past, and I just played with uh, John Michelle for the first time in D.C. about a year or so ago at a jazz festival. And it's great to be here. It's my second time playing at this place. Uh, I played here about maybe five or six years ago. And a special thank you to uh, the brother, Rain Wayne Winborn, for making it happen. It's so nice to be able to play this music with wonderful musicians and to play in front of this wonderful audience. You know, Newark has a rich history as, as far as this music. Sarah Vaughn, Wayne Shorter, a few other ones, and uh, Woody Shaw, that's right, yeah. And Otis, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, man, so thank you all so much. Thank you. Russell Malone, y'all. We're going to keep on keeping on for you.
Jonathan Michelle on bass, y'all. Jonathan Michelle. Otis Brown the third on drums. Otis Brown the third. Our featured guest, our featured guest, our featured guest, Mr. Russell Malone. Mr. Russell Malone. Mr. Russell Malone. My name is T.W. Sample. We're going to take a short break. We will be back. We're playing over through the first break, too. <laughs> but yes, we will be back, y'all. See you in a minute.
having a wonderful night of music, as I know I can tell by the responses. I came in the door a little late, and I think I heard you all outside cheering and screaming. So these cats are really killing it. And yes, I know Mr. T.W. <laughs> he is, like, phenomenal. And the things that you all may not know is, I don't know the other two cats, but Mr. Russell Malone is, like, superb, as you all know. And from now on, y'all have to know that Mr. T.W. is Dr. T.W. Okay? So my man has taken it all the way, and he is uh, like a master. I've seen him work in my wife's church and other places for years. Really, really cool cat. So ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to give you the Dr. T.W. band, and let's turn this thing out.
welcome back. <laughs> welcome back, Clements. On bass, if you missed him the first set, his name is Jonathan Michelle. Give it up for Jonathan <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> On drums, fresh from church. <laughs> We were both fresh from church. <laughs> Give it up for the one and only, Mr. Otis Brown the Third. Otis Brown the Third. And gracing us with his presence with a whole lot of guitar and a whole lot of strings and a whole lot of plucking. Straight from down south. Introducing. <laughs> The one and only, Mr. Russell Malone. Russell Malone. Russell Malone. Uh, my, my name is uh, T.W. Sample. I play piano. <laughs> so I forgot what we played again. Um, Y'all got a cheat sheet or something? If I Were a Bell, Road Song. Beautiful, a beautiful friendship, yes, yes. And we have more, so we'll, we'll, we'll play more right now. We'll be back.
on bass. Jonathan Michelle, ladies and gentlemen. Otis Brown III on drums, y'all. Our featured guest, the one and only Mr. Russell Malone on guitar. Russell Malone on guitar, y'all. My name is T.W. Sample. We want to thank you all for coming out to Clements, hanging out with us. Thank you, Wayne Winborn, Greg Burris, Peter Lynn. Appreciate you all. And uh, until next time, be blessed. God bless you. We're out of here. We love you, Ma.